Let's say a quick hi. Come here, buddy. You want to get treat? Come here, honey. Sit. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. All right. y'all my name is Gretchen I'm the restless thrifter and I am a reseller on eBay Poshmark and Mercari in that order eBay Poshmark and Mercari I don't always have Mercari sales but I usually have eBay and Poshmark with eBay being my dominant platform by far I'm going to be talking about sales February 16th through 18th in this video I'll share my 10 best sales and that's anything that's over $20 plus shipping and then five other sales that sold within my goal of three months. I wanna get things in and out of here within 90 days. And then one lesson learned. So that's all 16 sales. I did start running a 10% off coupon the week prior to this. So I had five sales using that coupon. It was just 10% off. Um, I think it's still active, maybe not, I'm not really sure. Um, I did set it for a certain time period and then you could just automatically apply it at checkout. I do have some new subscribers and I wanna thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. And of course, if you're returning, I always appreciate you guys. Please leave a comment below if you see anything you wanna comment on or just wanna say hi, I love that too. Click that thumbs up for me. That really helps me in the algorithm. Y'all look, I'm at 750, I think subscribers 730 maybe i don't even know try not to obsess over it but i really want to get to a thousand really 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 want to get to a thousand tell your neighbors tell your friends so if you haven't already please subscribe consider it it's free it's absolutely free top 10 sales the first one and this goes in reverse order from least to most profit so profit is going to be after the cost of goods after platform fees and after any shipping expenses come out. Tory Burch size six and a half Claire Ballet flat shoes, leather, French gray, gold emblem. I picked up two pairs of Tory Burch flats at a garage sale. I paid $15 each. Mm. I never find Tory Burch. So part of it was a little bit of excitement. Part of it was we've been buying a bunch of stuff at garage sales and I was just on a roll. This worked out for me. They sold in three months on eBay through an offer of $39. I had them listed for $49. My um, cost of goods was $15, as I mentioned, and my profit was $15.33. Here we have a personal item. It's an Avalanche men's size large three-in-one ski jacket cat, soft shell with zip out <laughs> in her jacket. This sold in three weeks on eBay through an offer counter offer situation. We went back and forth and landed on $28.92. I had it listed for $39.96. I mean, I think someone might have eventually bought it outright, but I had listed it so late in the season. I was happy to, to sell it for that price. My cost of goods, I put it as zero because this was my husband's that he'd had for a couple years. We no longer live in Colorado. He's not gonna be doing much skiing. He decided to let it go. Uh, my profit was $17.47. Next is a Harley Davidson size large garage shop shirt, embroidered color block orange black. This was at a garage sale right next to the one where I got the Tory Burch. Like they were sharing a yard basically. Sold in three months on eBay for $29.66, which was the 10% off the listed price. So they used that coupon I was telling you guys about. It also sold through promoted listings on eBay and I had paid $3. My profit was $17.85. Lululemon size 16 pants, align wide leg, super high rise crop, 23 inch gray pockets. I don't remember where I got these. Oh, it was probably like a thrift giant or something. They were um, new with tags, but I removed the tag to wash them because they did have some, it looked like they got wet and then it dried. And so they just needed to be rewashed and dried. And so I did that. They sold in three days after I listed them, sold on Mercari through an offer of $45. I had them listed for $55 and my cost of goods was like $20.56. So I did pay up for these. 
My profit was $17.93. I was a little bit worried that since they were the wide leg and they were cropped that they weren't going to sell. But with it being a size 16 and I had to end up listing new without tags on the Lululemon and just mentioned that they'd been washed you know, it, it was more of a risk, but still not a bad pickup in the end. Um, Birkenstock EU 40 US 9, nine and a half sandals, Arizona Essentials EVA slip-on waterproof. However, <laughs> these are coming back to me because for some reason I listed that they were size 40, EU 40, um, which is a US 9. They are not, they are an EU 37 and you can see that in the picture. I don't know if those have been sent back to me. The, I think she was trying to keep them, but get her money back. And I was like, yeah, just open a return. That was totally my fault. And there was a little back and forth. Um, I'll put it here. There was a little back and forth that just led me to believe she didn't really want to return them. She just wanted her money back. And I want to try to get something for them. These sold in three weeks on eBay through a 10% off listed price coupon. They sold through promoted listings and I had paid $4.32. My profit was $18.07. I really hope she returns them so that I can give her the money back because if she's not happy, then, you know. Next sale, Dockers men's size 34 by 30 pants, new, jean cut, straight fit, all seasons tech. These were given to me by my sister, I believe. I think they belong to her son, maybe. I'm not sure. And he wasn't going to wear them. They sold in three days on eBay. Full price sale of $24.96. And my profit was $20.54. Thank goodness for my sister. She's always given me stuff to sell. Next is the Folk Manus Koala Hand Puppet Hook and Loop Vine Vintage Folk Tales Furry Folk 12 Inch Plush. I do like to pick up puppets. Folk Manus is a great puppet brand. I never thought I would know puppet brands to recommend, but Folk Manus is one. It sold in two months on Poshmark. I picked it up at an estate sale and I picked up several other puppets. I don't think any of the others have sold. I just looked at one that has not been listed. I see him. He's a lamb. He has not been listed yet. I, I just forgot he was in the stack of puppets when I was photographing and then he got tucked away and that's the only reason. So I need to get him out. Sold in two months on Poshmark. Full price sale of $30. I had paid $2 at that estate sale. My profit was 22 The next in the top 10. Bionic Women's Size 8 Shoes Capri Sabina Sandal Jute Wedge Heel Black Strappy. These sold in four months on eBay. I've talked about Bionic before. It's a great comfort brand. Like if you've got some problem feet, they've got some great shoes that aren't this cute usually. Um, but they do make some sandals and heels and things like that. Um, you know, for folks with uh, who need that cushiony sole and everything. Sold in four months on eBay through an offer of $35. I did have them listed for $49. My cost of goods was $5.41. And why do I say cost of goods? Instead of I paid blah, blah, blah. I just business language that I'm used to. I don't know. No reason. It's how much I paid. And my profit is $22.53. Second to last in the top 10 is a Fiesta Lot of Three Ramekins Peacock Tangerine Sunflower. Those are the colors of the three items in this lot. Four inch bowls, Homer Laughlin. Homer Laughlin is like the parent company, I guess you'd say, of Fiesta. And this was a personal item, so my cost of goods was zero. They sold in four months on eBay through an offer of $30. Item listed for $38 and my profit was $24.16. And then the last in the top 10, Lisse plus size 2X blazer, gram studded jacket, olive green drape open front. This sold in one day on eBay through an offer of $35. It was listed for 50. My cost of goods was $3.24. I got this at a place called St. Vincent de Paul. 
and my profit was $25.18. Okay, next I have one, two, three, four, five other sales that sold within three months. There were eight in the top 10 that sold within three months and the other two sold within four months, so that's not bad. Okay, Goofy Rebel Mohawk Bandana Hat Ears New Punk Rocker Halloween New Tags One Size. I'm just reading to you the title verbatim of what I had in my listing and these are, it's like the item, it's basically what is the item, like any keywords that someone might search to try to find that item. This sold in three months on eBay through the 10% off coupon of the listed price, which was $14.96. Also sold through promoted listings. I would paid a dollar for this at a thrift store that was having a sidewalk sale, like a lot of things were just a dollar. That's what I paid and my profit was $7.92. Playtex size 42D brought new wireless back support front close E525, that's the style number, tagless white. I had a couple weeks where I was having to give a lot of refunds either from mistakes or because people needed to return items. And then there was this one, which it was a mistake, first of all, that I made that I ended up refunding her in total, including shipping and everything, and she didn't have to send it back. However, initially it sounded like she wanted to return for fit. She was saying it was way tighter, way smaller than her other bras in this size. And then she came back later to say, you know, it doesn't even have a front closure. And I was like, hmm, no, it doesn't. It has a back closure. Why would she think it needed a front closure? Well, my title and everything in the listing said front closure because that's what the package said. But the bra inside had a back closure. And I had actually taken it out of the packaging because it was just one of those little snaps and taken a picture of it. So I should have noticed that the bra inside was not the same as the bra in the package was the same size, but it wasn't the same bra. It sold in one month on eBay um, for 10% off of the listed price, which was $14.96. It also sold through promoted listings. I had paid $5.41, so my profit was only $3.37, but I refunded her in total. I'd also gotten this at St. Vincent de Paul. I imagine they're out of business by now. It was that location going out of business this is March and I think they were going out of business in February. Croc size men's five, women's seven clogs, bright yellow, classic waterproof comfort summer. They sold in three weeks on eBay. They sold for 10% off the listed price of $14.96. The last three sales have been the same price. And they sold through promoted listings. Now I priced these very low because I did not notice that they were two shades of yellow. I think they were from the same set of shoes, but for some reason one shoe faded and the other one didn't. Maybe it was left in the sun. I don't know what happened to it, but they they were a little different in um, shade. You could barely tell in the pictures, but I called it out in the description. I paid $6.48 for these, which would have been fine if I could get a better price for them, but with them being two different shades, felt weird to list them for too much. So my profit was only 282. The next is the Pampered Chef Cookie Press 1525 Complete Retired 16 Disc Spritz Cookies. This didn't look like it had ever been used, but you know, the box had some staining on it. And so I didn't list it as new or anything. Plus it could have just been, you know, it was an open box already. So it could have just been um, very well cleaned. Sold in three weeks on eBay for $11. I had paid $3.78. My profit was $4.54. If I could get this again new for less than $3.78, which that's not very much, right? Um, I would consider buying it again, but that wasn't the greatest profit. And then my uh, last in the fast flips was a Netgear Wi-Fi range extender N300 range desktop, new four ports, WN2000RPT. Put the, the part number or whatever it is. Sold in two days on Mercari through an offer of 17. I had it listed for 20. I paid 540. 
my profit was 852. It was sealed and new, so otherwise I wouldn't have picked it up. And then I had one lesson learned, although I think I've already talked about a few lessons there. H&M size 8 blouse sequin jewel mock neck rose gold sateen finish top new new with tags. It took a year and three months to sell. Sold on Poshmark. It was a full price sale of $17. It retailed for $50. And I picked it up because it was new with tags. It looked very pretty like something you'd wear for the holidays. I paid $5.41 and my profit was $8.19. H&M. Very, very rarely should I be picking it up. There's not a whole lot that sells quickly from H&M to my knowledge. Now, if you're picking something up for a buck and it's new with tags and it's in style or fits one of today's aesthetics, maybe it's okay. But this was just a pretty holiday blouse or, you know, dressy blouse that you could wear with pants to a cocktail party or to a wedding as a wedding guest or something. It was lovely. It just wasn't worth spending $5.41 on and hanging on to for over a year. My average profit per item surprisingly turned out to be $14.29, which is close to that $15 mark that I'm trying to get it to stick every single week. But it wasn't there. That's everything, y'all. Just keep listing.